All right, so when I originally built this desk, I created this area here so that I could build an overhead shooting rig, and I wanted it to stay mounted in that area so I could play around and do some overhead shooting, and then maybe some still photography stuff, but being lit up from above. So we'll see how it's going to go, but I've got some 80-20 that I'm going to pull out and show you guys how I think this is going to go. So now I've got the pieces laid out. Just took a really cool picture. But of course, that is going to be the cross brace. These are going to be the support pieces that are going to then mount to the ceiling, which these guys are going to be the L brackets that mount it to the top. These are going to be so I can mount other accoutrements to the uh, L track. And then of course, or in this case, 8020, sorry, L track is what I'm currently putting in the sprinter. These are the mounting pieces to mount these two guys at a 90 degree angle. And then we've got other brackets here so that just in case I can mount other um, needed things, so either lights, monitors, things like that, so that I can mount the camera and then have a way to see what is going on. So let's put this thing together and see how this goes. And so those pre-drill holes that you see there are perfect for the little mounting guys that are going to happen. So that is the way this is going to work. This guy turns this way and this guy slips in there into the 80-20. And then you tighten this guy with the Allen wrench and boom, you've got a secure connection. So I'll put those both together and show you guys how it went down. Now this is the way it's going to work for me. So again, tightened this guy through there. The other piece was attached, and bam, I got a nice 90 degree angle there that is going to hold that together. And so this will be what is going to be attached, and I'll show you here where the L brackets are going to go. So these are the pieces needed for each L bracket. So obviously, here's the L bracket, and these are from 8020. Um, I didn't try to go find some aftermarket or third party to make this work. I just wanted to use their tools for the job. But this is the bracket that is going to go into the uh, 8020 rail, right, and then the L bracket, and then their hardware to then screw through this guy into there. So let's get the L brackets mounted onto the overhead shooting rig, and then I'll show you guys how I'm gonna mount that to the top of the desk. Because I'm not one to hide mistakes, it looks like I ordered brackets that are half an inch too short. So what I'm gonna go do is mark all these, and I'm gonna go drill those out. Um, aesthetically, that's not going to upset me. That's just a look out for other people when you're ordering 8020 to verify what whole spacing might be on something like this L bracket so that when you order the other brackets that are going to go into the 8020 rail, that you uh, make sure they line up right away. So, just a little bit of extra work and we'll be there in no time. They're all looking pretty good. So, let's see how they shape up. This one has me a little scared, but the other ones look pretty good. Let's be honest, for it being that much off or that little off, uh, it really wasn't that bad. Next time, you just got to remember to use a punch. You make sure that the drill bit starts in the exact same, at the exact spot you want it to start. I was just trying to move fast, and that's what happens. You're just not exact. All right, guys, there it is. So as you can see, what I did is I mounted the, I used their L brackets. These are the 80-20 ones that you can order. Uh, mounted that to the top of the desk and then as you can see it's mounted here boop, so that you can uh, mount those together. Now what I did is I just got an L bracket um, and took one of their attachments that is the correct thread for this guy and put attached that there and then again used an L bracket mount to just go into the back of the camera. Now. I will say that this is a little precarious. This is really just a test out how the 8020 would work. But right now it's working pretty good, so you can see. So now what I've done is I've set up two little marks there so that I kind of know where the front and back of it is. I'll probably do something a little bit more cute in the long run. I'll get one there on the left and then one on the right. But uh, as well, I just bought like a little $30 light off of Amazon. So I can adjust the brightness and I can adjust the, uh, the heat, the K value. So that way I can kind of match if there's anything I'm playing with, especially because of the, the overhead light in the room. I might need to match that or just get some special bulbs so I'm shooting with all the right stuff. So what we're looking at here is the little attachment that slides into the 8020 uh, channel. And this way you can, it's threaded for all the typical photography stuff so that you can make any other attachments. So what I want to do eventually is uh, save up and get like a little $100, $200 monitor so that way I don't have to use the one that's there on the XC10. Now that works great, but say I want to do a little bit of photography with my uh, 
excuse me, with my Canon 5D, and it'll be a little bit more difficult because I can't use the, I can't swing out the monitor. So this is the beginning. Um, I'd love to know y'all's thoughts. If you've got uh, questions, please ask them. If you've got ideas, definitely put them in the comments below. I'd love a thumbs up. Uh, again, my channel is kind of a little bit of a haphazardness of all the crazy things I do in my life. I like to call myself the purveyor of awesome. I don't do one thing great. I just do a lot of things really good. And by good, I mean fun. So if you thought this was fun, yeah, follow along for what's to come. Uh, appreciate you guys watching and definitely look forward to hearing your questions. Talk to you later. Bye.